Oh, this light. Is it good? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Good morning. It's day two of the press tour. Welcome to our race car. Yeah. We, she's candy apple red. Um, we're, I don't, I can only speak for me right now. You chime in. I, today feels harder. Oh, I'm feeling good right now, but I'm sure it'll get harder as the day goes on. Yeah. Um, it was 9,000 damn degrees <laughs> in our hotel. Um, it was so hot. I was like. We're off to the first media outlet. It's also supposed to be Snowmageddon today. Apparently five to eight inches, and I'd just like to let you know that last night we arrived at our hotel and we got a little um, notification that said our flight has been canceled. Jake, being a great support person, called and we're on a different flight now, hopefully. Hmm. We're supposed to get five to eight inches of snow. So, Jake Gyllenhaal, you better be on your way. Uh, so it's a quick one today. We got in our race car and we're gonna speed off to the next one. Da -da -da. <laughs> Turbo, that's what's gonna get us there in time. We made it to the next place, aren't you super excited? We really did. She got us there in good time, and by she I mean you. And by me I mean the race car! There she is. Look at another big green screen. So maybe today we'll be on a beach or on the ocean or something. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. We're so. done. That's it for TV. That's it. But I'm pretty sure. Bye. Bye, thank you. What are you pretty sure? This is for St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> which is in like three days, so. Yeah, that's definitely it. Yeah. That's so weird. Is a pot of gold behind me? Earlier it was the beach and then it was the ocean. Okay. So. So here's a funny update. In 300 meters, <laughs> keep right onto 12th Hang Street, on. All right, here's the real update. <laughs> three times this morning, count them three. Um, Jake's loaded the car with the water jugs, and I'm in my seat, but my chair is next to the car, and Jake gets in to the driver's seat and puts on his seatbelt and closes his door <laughs> three times. The first time, I laughed. Second time, I was like, what are you doing? And this last time, I just had one arm on my chair and one arm in the car seat and just looked at him. <laughs> and he went to turn to me to look like, what the F are you doing? And then realized, <laughs> What's going on, bud? Listen, in my defense, when we're in your car, yes. we load it into the back and you just get in. Yeah. You don't have to take it apart, you don't have to do anything. So that's my excuse. And I would give you that defense, but you didn't load it in the back either. Spencer, <laughs> you know what? You just I just don't see you as a guy that doesn't have legs. <laughs> it's waiting. <laughs> just waiting. <laughs> Folks, yesterday we did so good. We were everywhere, on time, in the right place. <laughs> Today is a different story. <laughs> Last night, uh, we we went to the wrong address for the hotel, and we're now off to radio station. And there's a difference between Center Street and Center Avenue, which is my human error. So we thought maybe it was going to be in some guy's basement. We were in like a subdivision. Yeah, we were ready to start not... knocking on doors. Turns out, not where we need to be. Were you, was... were you overwhelmed after you left? We did a radio interview, now we're gonna do a video interview at the radio station. Okay. You heard that right. Yeah. Just below my pelvis so I could get around better. <laughs> I don't even know if I can tell the story. <laughs> oh my god. I was Wait. walking down the street. <laughs> there was snow. Below the snow there was ice. And I almost ate shit. <laughs> but I no, caught myself. No, but he, he, oh, I was also okay. holding like an 80 pound oh. jug of water in one hand. Listen, all, I look up, all I see is butt crack and and one jug is in the air over his head. He, his, I'm sure his nose skimmed the street. <laughs> I lived, it, is the bottom line. It was quite possibly the funniest <laughs> thing that I've ever seen. Because your weight was so unbalanced due to the jug. Oh my god, that was good. <laughs> well, we, uh, we officially made it to the airport. It's, uh snowing outside, which we'll talk about later. But uh, Jake and I had break breakfast, and now 
We're just gonna chill at the airport and do some work and hope that our flight leaves. <laughs> Update, update. We've been delayed. Just by 30 minutes though. So I think it's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a plane. Ta-da! We made it on the plane. We made it. So today they put me at the front and Spencer at the back because he causes too much trouble. <laughs> that must be it. They put you close you see to him? the flight attendant because <laughs> too much trouble. We made it back to Toronto, we made it back to Toronto. We did, we did, we did. <laughs> Alright, we're home. Um, we did seven interviews in two days, two cities, three flights. And you get a bonus interview tomorrow. Yeah, two bonus interviews tomorrow. Um, we're both super tired. I don't know where we are, or what time it is. I actually know where we are. Um, <laughs> But one of the things ab about our job is a lot of times, just due to the nature of what we do, we have to scramble and do things very quickly and get info that we need really quickly. And th that stresses me out a little bit. Um, but uh, I'm really grateful that we had the opportunity to um, talk about our new campaign and to hopefully provide help to a lot of people that we get to spend every summer with. But this is the part of the job that, that is hard and that I struggle with uh, is because I'm I'm tired and I don't always do good with scrambling and, and last minute things um, but what I would like to say is what's helpful is when you get to travel with someone who is fun and uh, makes the job fun so Jake thanks I appreciate it you're welcome <laughs> I appreciate all the work that you do um, we had a great time and now we're gonna sleep for a hundred years. Um, as always, you're a new best friend. Call us every five minutes. Goodbye. Let me tell you a scary story about the time that I told the vlog.